Hello and welcome back to the channel and today I'm trying to answer one very simple question and that is, is there a snack so good that you would pay for a yearly membership just to get the privilege to buy it? And apparently that is the case. Now then, these are peanut butter pretzels. It does sound fantastic, don't get me wrong. These I bought from Costco, which for those that don't know, it's a kind of a subscription warehouse thing. I'm fortunate enough to get a, uh, a pass, what's the word? A card, a membership card um, through my other half, which is very good. And these, according to many others in the beer community, and those others being uh, John from Lord's Brewing Co., Paul of Paul's Beer Reviews, Chris of Chris's Beer Reviews, and Mark of the Craft Beer Hub, have all tried these and said they are simply insane. So, finding out once and for all today, are these the best beer snack, period? Or should that be question mark? Question mark. Are these the best beer snack? Question mark. Let's find out. If you're wondering why there's two pints of Guinness sat here in front of me, it's because I've just finished filming a head-to-head uh, -head between the new Nitro Surge Guinness and the Guinness original cans. Um, go watch that one if you haven't already. But I thought, what better time to try a snack when I've got effectively two, well, they're both Guinness, but they're actually quite different pints. So let's give this a go, shall we? It comes in this massive uh, three pound drum. I mean, there's a handle on the back. That's how big this thing is. Um, for those who use real units, it's 1.56 kilos. Uh, I won't tell you the calories per gram because that'll make you very sad. Uh, but yeah, they look good, don't they? Look at that. Um, so then, big top off. I mean, snacks should all come in this size, shouldn't they? It's ridiculous. Okay, there's not there's a annoying film cap. Can we get this off? Does anyone else really struggle with these tops? They're absolutely a nightmare. I'm going to attack it with this. We're in. The smell is obscene. Oh, salty peanuts for days. Right then. So let's find a good one. There we go, got two stuck together. Let's try these first, shall we? Let me move this so you can see what we're talking about. There you go. So these are two stuck together, these little parcels, and I guess the idea is that the outside is kind of pretzel and there's some peanut butter on the inside. So, well, swig of Guinness. Cheers. Is my life about to be changed by a small, delicious, salty snack? Let's see. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but this is kind of important. Currently, only 29% of people who watch my videos regularly are actually subscribed to this channel. And in order to be able to bring you bigger and better content, that figure needs to get closer to 50%. So please, if you wouldn't mind, just click that subscribe button below the video. It doesn't cost you anything and it would help me a whole bunch. So thank you and now back to the video. That is perverse. Wow. They are so Moorish. You get, hear me out. And I think I've realized already why these are so good and I haven't gonna eat another one because wow. Oh, so problem we've got. Pretzels are a common beer staple, particularly in Germany, but and further afield. Big ones, small, dry ones, whatever. And they go very well with beer, but I know the intention is basically there to dry your mouth out so you keep drinking the beer and it kind of keeps everything flowing nicely. But somehow they are just a little bit too dry. On the flip side, in the UK and other places in the world, actually peanuts are generally the preferred default pub snack. And again, similar concept, but maybe, just maybe, peanuts, well they're a bit too oily, can't eat loads of them because they're very dense and that sort of thing. However, mix the two together, they are absolutely beautiful. Now, this massive tub, Cost me £11.79, which, yes, isn't cheap, but when you consider a pack of Pringles these days is, what, three quid a tube? Like, 
I don't know, this massive jar or four things of Pringles. I'm taking these. They are absolutely stunning. The description on the back is a salted baked wheat snack filled with peanut butter. Um, there's a long list of ingredients, so you probably don't want to know all of those, but I'm going to have one more. I'm going to put the lid on because they, they, the addictiveness. Wow. Mm. So, so good. So, there we have it. Quite a short video today, but you get the idea. We've got to an answer. If you have a Costco near you and you're not a member already, should you become a member just to buy their Kirkland peanut butter pretzels? I'm not saying yes, but I'm saying if you did, it probably wouldn't be the worst decision you'd ever made. I'm very happy right now. And the rugby's on, so I'm going to take these two pints of Guinness, this massive box of peanut butter pretzels, and I'm probably going to go and gain quite a lot of weight, but they're irresistible. So I think we'll leave it there. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't already, subscribe, if you will be so kind. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.